one man, all alone, in a maze, with hill giants, giant rats, zombies, goblins, and one weird little ogre who likes to hang around goblins, a wolf, and a terror bird, some random gnomes, and this is my starting chunk. I must complete every task available to me listed from the source chunk website. I'm using Limpworks Extreme one chunk rules. So this is a, this isn't going to be a small task. It's going to take many, many hours. The grind is going to be uh, really long, tedious, but you know, I'm not scared. This is Soda Chunk, the Tree Gnome Village Extreme Chunk Locked Iron Man. Let's get into it. We might as well start off by giving this the most perfect name ever, and I know it's probably not taken. Uh, my name's Soda, and this is a Chunk account, so uh, Soda Chunk. Yeah, it was kind of hard, but I figured uh, it'd be pretty good. I'm going to make my character look like he was shopping at a, the Gnome store. So you know the clothes are going to be a little too small, and they always wear like those bright colors. So, uh, thinking like maybe uh, purple and pink might might look pretty good on them. Uh, let me do that real quick, and I'll get right back. Okay, I think that's it. I think we got the perfect outfit, we got the perfect name. Uh, now let's get Tutorial Island knocked out and head to Lumbridge. All right, we're gonna head over to Tree Gnome Village now, and let me take this off. It's uh, way over here. And I'm doing a voiceover now because uh, when I recorded this originally, it was kind of late, so I was kind of quiet. So I figured I want to redo it. In retrospect, I should have kept the 25 coins in my bank and not dropped them earlier, but uh, I'm kind of dumb. So uh, I didn't think about the Soul Wars teleport either, the minigame teleport. I think it was a lot to do with uh, just being excited of starting this, starting this account. So. For whatever reason, I don't know. <laughs> I was also having problems with my menu not showing. Like if you look at my menu down here, I don't have a lot of the buttons. So I was having to push my F keys just trying to find the teleport menu. So I was just kind of pushing them until I found it. And uh, it took a little while. And for whatever reason, uh, to myself, I was like, you know what? I'll go to the fight pits. Yeah, I can go to Karamja instead of having to steal 60 GP. I just got to steal 30 because I can take the boat to Artie. Well, uh, that didn't work either. <laughs> um, because I completely forgot about a man at Musa Point. So what I did was uh, climb up the rope and headed to Brimhaven looking for a man to pickpocket. Well, folks, Soda was wrong again. So what I ended up deciding to do was uh, pickpocket a man until I got my 30 GP. And uh, I kind of went one over by mistake. So if I would have stopped right on 30 GP, I wouldn't have leveled up. But since I accidentally went for 33, I got level 2. And uh, yeah, so what I decided to do was uh, wait for my minigame cooldown and teleport back to the fight caves. Because <laughs> I still, for 15 minutes, did not think about that Soul Wars teleport. Alright, finally I think the time has come that we can actually finally go to Tree Gnome. I hadn't scoped this place out at all. I kind of just looked at the map. I probably spent two minutes looking at a Source Chunks' Chunk map. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to go Tree Gnome. I didn't know anybody who did it. And of course, after getting there, I started YouTubing. There is a, one guy named Mazed Out. He's got an extreme chunk over there. And I actually talked to him in game. He's a pretty cool dude. And there's another one I found on there. I can't remember his name right off, but it doesn't like he played in a few months, so I think he's probably quit by now. And I'm about to die already. Let's climb up this rope. <laughs> Ooh, that was close. So yeah, I'm uh I did eventually think about the Soul Wars teleport and it unlocked more music tracks than I would like. But you know, it's part of life I guess I know I didn't do anything in those chunks I just kind of ran back to my, to my starting chunk 
Uh, ben, I got about almost three days played in this chunk so far as of making this video. I'm having a real fun time. Uh, it's real grindy, don't get me wrong. I'm killing a, a lot of the same monsters over and over. But in the grand scheme of things, I think it's going to be worth it. It's a lot more rewarding, I feel. But now we're getting on the boat already. And now I'm going to run southwest. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this part. <laughs> so, like I said, I, I didn't do any kind of research for this thing at all. So what I did, being me, <laughs> I ran to Trinom Stronghold. Again, I'm stupid. I know. You can call me stupid all you want in the comments. I already know that. But that's where these tracks get unlocked. So if you ever happen to ask me, this is where it happened. <laughs> I'm going to speed through this part of me walking. I do want you guys to see that I did walk through here, but I didn't do anything. I didn't get any kind of levels or items or nothing like that. I really just thought I was going to tree gnome. And it was, it was around this point. I'm sitting there questioning myself. And then I'm like, oh shit. I'm a moron. <laughs> I gotta go south. So I quickly make haste go south. If I didn't already pay for my membership, I probably just went ahead and re-rolled because the whole thieving level and then all these extra tra tracks. <laughs> I was telling Extreme I was going to come visit him with his chunk. <laughs> uh, but, I mean, it's, it's alright. I didn't do no, no harm, no foul. A couple tracks. It is what it is. And heading over to my chunk now. And once we get here, we'll talk about the things that we got to get done in this chunk. So I'm going to walk around and explore a little bit. See what I got here. Uh, like I said, I've never been, I mean, I've been here before, but I never really looked in depth of w what's all over here. And, you know, we got a wolf here, a couple large rats. So uh, I do got a food source, as long as I got a tinder box in here somewhere. Uh, the gnome troops don't really drop anything except for bones, so they're kind of a useless thing for me. The wolf doesn't drop anything but, but a wolf bone, so that's going to be kind of useless for me. And he's kind of high level, too, so... The gnomes, I know what the gnomes drop, so I know I'll at least be able to get some body room uh, magic spells like Confuse and Curse and stuff like that. So I'm thinking that might be my best magic training in this chunk. Hill Giant, uh, I'm gonna, I know I'm going to get the Curve Bone, Long Bone. I know they have a fairly decent drop table as far as runes, so this one won't be bad. Uh, zombies got Mining Air runes, so that's going to be huge. But let's uh oh this whole village has one shop uh what well, got a tinder box so we definitely got food here but let's pull up the source chunk picker map and see what all we got to do this is the source chunk chunk picker v2 website uh my code for my chunk is xokf so if you go to the website you can type that code in and see how i'm progressing if you really want to um, this is the extreme rules right here. I gotta get a steel weapon, jug of wine, oak logs, cast high alchemy, make a bronze bar from superheat, get my best in slot items, start the train on village quest, the grand tree quest, giant key, curve ball, long bone. So uh, that's not, well, I'll say it's not bad. Uh, the magic ground is gonna be terrible. The only kind of, uh, Clue scroll here is a medium scroll, and none of my monsters drop them, so I have absolutely no way of getting a staff. I started a quest, so that's <laughs> one thing ticked off. It was hard, so I had to do it, and that's that's why they call the big guns soda. You know, just taking care of business. But we got our first tick off. And let's see what else we're gonna do. This video might be a little long, just forewarn you guys. Uh, I'm only gonna do two videos in this whole chunk. I'm gonna do this video, which has all my progression. And my video two is gonna be me leaving the chunk. I'm not gonna do a bunch of videos in the same chunk because I feel like it's gonna be monotonous. So this video is just gonna hold a lot of stuff. I am gonna bury every bone. I should have a pretty high parallel before I get it here. 
get out of here. So that's going to be one plus, I guess. My immediate plan is going to be to kill a lot of goblins via my kicking, get runes, and use them on them. And yeah, this is my first random. It was Bob. <laughs> I got kind of excited because I thought I was going to get some fishing XP. But it wasn't the good Bob random. It was this dude. Prison Pete. And yeah, it's kind of a waste of time. So let's fast forward this. And get done with it. My reward was uh, six toad flax. Which does absolutely nothing for me considering the... Uh, even if I wanted to keep herbs, the leprechaun is like five tiles out of my chunk. So I can't note them. So I just end up selling them anyway. So starting out, I think I'm going to head up here to these little baby rats and train my combat levels on them and maybe move up to the goblins or giant rats and maybe start some of this cooking grind. But for sure, right now, the only thing I can really kill is these rats and maybe some go uh, gnomes in the center. But this is going to be my spot for a little bit. With this next attack from this rat, it should give me five attack and there's a little bit of progress down. Now we're about to come up on 10 attack. So, uh, my RuneScape client just crashed. Uh, let's hope uh, I'm still alive. Oh, this sucks. Come on. Ah, uh, you son of a bitch. Ah, <laughs> uh, that didn't last long. Uh, well, uh, that's how that ended. Well, I guess, uh, one good thing is I can go and get this over with, uh, after talking to the clan, I can't remember who it was, but somebody said, Hey, why don't you use the Soul Wars teleport? You don't have to pickpocket. And after feeling like a complete idiot, I was like, you know what? That's a great idea. So it might unlock a few more music tracks, but does it give me more thieving levels? And to me, that's more important. So, uh, yeah, I went back, my home, back my way that way. And I'm gonna let you guys see my walk back so you can see what tracks got unlocked. So you don't think I was being a bad boy. Hey look, AFK OnlyFans. What's up man? I don't know who that is, but I like the name. And here's a big old glob of uh, new music tracks. That was uh, wonderful. And now, back to my chunk. And now since I got murdered and came back, I now have 10 strength on the count. So, almost base 10s. And with this kill right here, she give us 10 defense. And now we got to base 10 combats in the melee. I'm only doing every five levels because I feel, feel like every one level will be a little too much. So uh, I'll stick with five for right now. So let's take a look at this task list that we have. The hardest one is probably gonna be the 55 magic with high alchemy because the only way to get runes is from zombies, which drop the air and the mine runes. Goblins drop water, earth, and body runes. And the hill giants, they have okay drop rates for nature runes and fire runes. And we'll need those for the high, high alk spells, low alk spells, uh, superheat, stuff like that. Uh, we gotta make the superheat a bronze bar that's gonna kinda come along with the alchemy grind. A steel spear, we'll get that from a hobgoblin. Iron mace, we'll get that from the level 23 zombie. Iron Full Helm will get that from Hill Giants. Iron Kite Shields from the Hill Giants. Long and Curb Bone from the Hill Giants. We'll get a Dagger from the Zombie. We'll get, obviously, the Oak from Oak Tree. And yeah, the Iron Axe will also be from a Zombie. And that's pretty much the task that we're doing on this chunk. We're gonna get our first piece of Fashion Scape on account. And we get the Camo Top. So uh, yeah, we got a little bit of a uh, we got a little bit of that uh, John Cena swag. You know, you can't see me, especially next to this bush. And 15 attack. 
corny joke and 15 attack. And now we can start some wood cutting and fire making. Uh, finally got our first axe, so that's going to be pretty dope. Let's get one step closer to our, uh, our goals with chunk. And a couple kills later, we got a, got us a red cape. That's going to be the best in slot cape for a, a long time, I hope. Uh, if I go southeast, I'll be going 99 magic. So hopefully this red cape's going to last a while. Because uh, I don't know about you, but I don't want to do that right this second. Coming in with uh, 15 fire making. And now we got 15 wood cutting. We can now chop oak logs. So let's uh, pull our source chunk thing up and we marked off burnt oak logs and chopped oak logs. We got the red cape and we started the quest. So we got four of the 17 tasks ticked off. A uh, pretty good run, pretty good run so far. Well, grab my ass and call me soda. We got a bronze scimitar, everybody. That's going to be a lot better than this bronze spear. So let's, uh, I don't know if I'm going to sell it or just drop it, but we'll figure it out. Oh, yeah. I'm looking like old nasty boy. Let's go chop this goblin's head off. Ooh, look at that big one hit crit. Oh, man, you don't want none of this. And we got ourselves 20 hit points. That's definitely going to come in handy in the hill giant grind later. Because they smack a little harder than the rest of these guys. Whenever I need help, I come up to the rats and I kill them and get their meat. Uh, we got 15 cooking now. Like I said, we got to go to 35. It's going to be more passive than anything because we're going to cook a ton of rat meat. Probably in the thousands. So we're probably in the 50s, I'm guessing. But we'll find out. Right now, we're at 15. We'll see what we get to. And with this next attack, it should get me 30 strength. Uh, next attack. There we go. 30 strength. We're getting there, people. We're getting there. And then the Lord came down and said, Son, you have 15 prayer. So I got my bronze helm from the zombies. And now I just got me a bronze square shield. So I'm looking more like Bronze Man. I dropped my camo top because I didn't like the way it looked. But I think I'm going to spend some time killing these goblins over here. Maybe I can get some runes to start this magic grind. Uh, you can see it in my inventory. I got some already. But these are the level 2s that's in my chunk. Uh, they're the only level 2s. And they have a. They are actually the ones that have to drop rate for the water, earth, and body runes. They're guarded by this ogre right here. So what I'm going to have to do is... Use the aggression timer plug-in and wait 10 minutes for the aggression timer and then I, I'll be free to kill all these goblins. There's four level twos and one level five. So I got level 36 strength and 200 total. Um, so far all in this one chunk. Uh, as you can see my drops I've gotten a couple clue scrolls now. I don't know why I keep picking them up. I guess I'm hoping maybe they'll add a uh, easier beginner a clue step in my chunk without me knowing doesn't seem reasonable or feasible but I keep checking maybe one day mod ash one day and with this next attack we should get 35 defense and there we go 35 defense and with the passive confuse spells uh, this next one should get us level 10 magic and there we go, slowly but surely. And as you can see at the clue scrolls, we got them stacking. So this level might not seem very important to a lot of you guys, but this uh, Confuse has got us level 11, which gives us Weaken, which is almost twice the XP rate that we were getting. Same amount of runes, but twice the amount of XP. Uh, total so far is 2,104 Goblin kills, with a total of 2,544 kills total in this chunk. And this next goblin should get us 35 hit points. Um, like I told you from the start, this is going to be a long grind. It's going to be a lot of goblin kills and a lot of zombie kills. And a whole lot of hill giant kills. So I'm not sure how long this is going to take. So I decided to kill some hill giants to get some upgrades. And we got a giant key before any upgrades. So that's one thing ticked off. 
And I'm fletching hill giants because they just slap too hard. And this next hit should get me 40 defense. And there we go. Yeah, I can now wear rune armor whenever that might happen. <laughs> I don't foresee it happening in this chunk, but I can wear it now. Thank goodness. Finally, we got a steel longsword. Finally got an upgrade. I've been fletching these guys for a while. 21 kills takes a little while when you uh, gotta flinch them. <laughs> but, that's pretty awesome. On to the next thing. This is our best in slot magic weapon. Because the dagger does have the plus one magic attack. And we got that so we can tick it off of our source chunk. Let's pull it up. Oh, okay, cool, don't kill me. Uh, there we go. Let me type in my pin. So, again, I got the steel weapon checked off. I got a red cape, bronze helm, bronze shield, iron dagger. And I've got nine of them checked off now. Got a giant key as well. Alright, back to killing. And with this bone right here, we have 30 prayer. Gotta hate this. And this is going to be the almost last upgrade for this chunk. The iron kite shield. The only big upgrade I need left is the iron full helm. And maybe I'll get it soon. Who knows? I don't. So I did get the uh, iron full helm drop. But I got a more important thing, which is this maze random event. And here's a way you can cheese it. You just open the chest, wait for it to close, and then you open it again. And you can do that all the way down to when the rewards get to 1%. And once it gets to the 1% mark, once it closes and you open it, it will say empty. But all the rewards that you gathered through, throughout this goes to your bank if your inventory is full. Even though I don't have a bank in my chunk, so like all these potions that I'm getting, they're all getting stacked in my bank as, we, as we're doing those. You can get all your elemental runes and arrows from this chest along with your basic strength, defense, combat, and attack potions. Um, I would strongly recommend if you are chunked a lot doing this, make sure you have all your elementals in your inventory. And what that does is keep them going from going from your inventory to your bank as long as you got them in your inventory they'll stack so it's always smart to at least have one left so as you can see the chest is closed I click it and now it's empty now we'll get teleported back out and we got a good haul as you can see um let me run up so I can check out what I got So yeah, I mean, we got a good stack of stuff. I can kind of stack these uh, potions to make four doses for some inventory space. Um, ooh. So uh, yeah, we got a back-to-back -back maze. So I guess I will sit here for another hour and open chest. <laughs> it's pretty lucky, actually. So I'm pretty sure this is going to be the last one. Um. Let me fast forward this a little bit so you guys don't have to wait the full minute with me. Okay, it's closed now. Let's go and open it and get teleported out. I really hope I don't get a third because it's kind of late for me. <laughs> um, let's see. So we are uh, got a nice little haul of arrows and our potions are stacked back up again. If you pay attention to, to my top left, I got the plugin that has time played that shows so throughout this video you can actually see how long I've been playing this chunk right now we're sitting at about 35 hours and uh I mean as you can see the progress that we have so far <laughs> it's pretty slow but I'm determined I'll get this chunk done and we'll move on to bigger and better things and hopefully hit up some bosses before long 45 strength coming on in 20 magic slowly but surely I'm just popping this in the video just so you guys can see that I didn't cheat to get fishing levels um, I did ev eventually get a Bob random it only took what, 
29 hours almost 40 hours to get one but I did get one um, <laughs> it should give me seven fishing if I'm not if I'm not mistaken pretty sure it's seven uh, yeah okay cool and more grapes and this last hit should get us 25 magic I'm trying not to make this video full of level ups but uh <laughs> there's not a whole lot to do in this junk so uh, here's 50 attack so I fast forward a little bit because there wasn't a whole lot going on other than level ups um I did change my UI a little bit trying to get more with my inner gnome uh, if you look at the timer I'm at two days 12 hours and 23 minutes so it's a little further in the future uh, this meat right here should get me 35 cooking and now we can go try to make this wine uh, be the, the next tick off of this and it might be the last tick off of the video as far as like a trunk trunk requirements to get get on to the next one I'm gonna mess with this UI a little bit to make it more gnomey and less weedy but let's go to the store here we can buy us a jug and then we can go to the water fountain fill the jug up with water and hopefully our wine doesn't fill okay we got our jug of water put the grape into the wine and now we wait patiently and hope and just to let you know to get to his water fountain you gotta run clear across the whole maze hey we got a wine <laughs> that's another check off but you gotta run a clear across the maze up to Elkoy where I follow him back to the bottom but Elkoy is where the rats are so enable to get over there you gotta run clear across this maze to the top Every time I need to go to the goblins, I gotta take this route through the water fountains and back up to the northeast corner. And there's no other reason to go there besides to kill goblins. But now we got jug of wine checked off. And yeah, we just got the hard stuff left. So uh yeah, that's 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 my life. So as you can see I messed with my UI a little bit. Also I got 50 hit points. I added a gnome to my compass, which spins, which is awesome. And in my chat box, I put some gnomes in front of the, uh, the maze plants. So yeah, I've been pretty busy. And now we should be getting 50 defense. Um, we can wear granite armor now. So uh, 62 combat, 2 days, 15 hours played. So I'm going to end this episode off with what I currently am. I got my full camo, my beekeeper boots, beekeeper gloves. We got my red cape, my stack of bronze bolts. Let's see. We are currently 37 prayer, I believe. 38 prayer, but 39. We're pushing 30 magic. Well, we're lacking some runes. Like I can do regular air wind bolts, but I'm trying to save up so I can at least do water bolts. Does this water bolt is that the right spell water strike i'm sorry i uh, got me a, another giant key my fishing bait stack is uh getting pretty pretty handsome i've been holding on to these for the off chance that i get level 43 overnight when i'm not looking uh we're based 50 melee 50 hp my uh you don't see that but yeah that, that's my current account right now we're at two days, 18 hours played. Uh, where's my music track? You can see my music tracks are all the ones that I showed in the video. I will go kind of slow for you because I know some of y'all don't know how to read too good. And I'm one of those people. I'm going to go slow for you. Uh, oh, look. Did I go too fast? I'm not, I think those are... Uh, I don't know what those are. Escape. Must be like a bent thing or something. But yeah, that's uh, my friends list. Don't forget to check out my homie Sieves. And that, that's it right now. Total level is 377. I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, if you would, hit that subscribe button if you made it to the end. Leave me a question. I got all the time in the world to answer things. So, yeah, ask and I'll answer. 
uh, let me pull up my jump back map real quick for you so you get to see that one more time. So we got the steel weapon checked off, the jug of wine done, I burned oak logs, I chopped oak logs, got the full iron helm, the red cape, the steel spear. Uh, I think that should be the iron full helm. I'm not sure why it's a uh, bronze medium helm. Oh, because range. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, we got the bronze, which the reason it's not iron because it does have a negative range. So I, I get that now. This whole time, I, I don't know why I just got it. But anyway, got the iron dagger, the iron mace. I started the tree gnome quest. I got the iron axe. Got two giant keys. I did get a uh, zombie event where I was able to use this deposit box, so I did put the other one up there. But I appreciate you guys watching. Again, please subscribe, show me some love because this is taking taking some time. And I'm hoping by the end of next month or the month after, I'll be done with this chunk. So if you don't see a video, it's not because I quit. Uh, feel free to add me a game. I put my private onto all so you guys can message me if you want I'm in the one chunk plan feel free to hop in and talk crap to me that's fun and hope you guys have a wonderful day